Hello everyone, Osage Orange here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Titan Quest Season 3. We are here on episode number 36 of this series. Do appreciate everybody who's come up. I hope that your guys' time zone, whatever your guys' time zone is, is most wunderbar. So on the agenda for today, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, we are going to be having some fun in, uh, Gadir. We're officially going to, of course, do our little usual side quest to, um, our Atlantean adventures. So that, come on. There we go. Discord wasn't cooperating there for a second. <laughs> So, anywho, as I said, um, I'm going to be uh, doing that, um, that, uh, that stuff. We're going to be doing what we can to get some stuff done, yada, yada, yada. And um, all that. Huzzah. So, just a reminder, um, next, officially next week, because we've, we've gotten the stuff done, I've gotten the stuff done at work, you know, we had, uh, back in, what was it, or mid-January, you know, needed to swap out schedules because of stuff happening, finally got this little whole swap thing going back done, so I could go back to normal, and... <laughs> I tell you, it's about gosh darn time for that to happen. I'm glad it's happening. So, you know, it's it's one of these things is like, oh my god, this is such a pain in the arse, and it has been. So, Let's see here. Let me get my Ishtar cheat sheet up and running before I forget. And there we go. Max that out. And pull up TQ here so we can get it rolling. Come on. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to go ahead and go through Gadir and all that. So, um, the, um, um, for the IRL stuff, we will be going back to our normal, um, approximately three to six schedule. Um, there we go. Come on. There we go. Approximately three to six schedule for, um, um, let's see, I want Atlantis. Then, Ishar Epic. So yeah, we'll be going back, starting next week, with me going back to my normal schedule. I'm doing all that, so. I just want to make sure, I did do that one thing, didn't I? Yeah. Just wanted to make sure that uh, um, we uh, had that. 
one of those moments of, uh, um, am I being less of a dum-dum? I forget to. Yes, I did. I forgot. It's going to make at least some money. We have a fair amount of Electrum, so... We'll just quickly come over here to Imhotep. <laughs> I, I need some of my stuff, so... Um, let's see here. Hello? Yep. A sec here. I'd... I hate when I, I just didn't goofed. Trying to adjust something here on my, uh, There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. Let's see here. We'll just do that. There we go. I knew I was forgetting to do something. Take a look at that later. All right. I know I could wait till later, but my OCD is getting the better of me. That's interesting. Just notice that little thing there. How oh, it looks like a how it can be adjusted. There we go. Okay, we got, we should have all our stuff. Yep. All right, we can finally head out and do some of our stuff here. This is why I love having having massive defenses. Line well, is obviously there. Play double back and do a little bit of exploratory OCD as required. Uh, 
and said, if it were me, one of the things that I would do, you know, is like show like, um, like somewhere in here, you know, a path that, you know, says, you know, sorry, traitors only allowed beyond these walls. You know, somewhere right about in here, you know, by that river right down there. That would be just me. Come on. There we go. There's the what's it cave. Hiram is. Ah, first time in a while that I've seen that happen. Just a second, guys. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Got to stretch. Alright, sorry about that. It was, that was one of those moments of, eh, oh my goodness, I need to stretch. Yeah, I hate when I have that happen. Figured that was going to be a Loki chest. We can take care of uh, What's-Her's-Face uh, here in a bit. Do not kill me, you jerks.
Come on. Oh, that's right. It's that rebirth fountain's still a bit down there. No, 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 no. Run. Wait a minute. There's um. Tree memory just clicked into gear. There is. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I think it's here. I am suddenly remembering. Oops. Let's see. Let me. I'm gonna have to check the wiki on this. Let's see. Come on. Dear outskirts, mysterious artifacts. That's it. There we go. I was thinking about the Gallus Wilderness, is what I was thinking about. That's what I was thinking about. <laughs> you see, my my tree memory was of, was trying to preempt the game. At least I got my revenge by being able to get one of those guys to get some burn damage. Let's quickly go take care of this little thing right here. teleport out of here and then we're back up to where we lost stuff <clears throat> excuse me Flinger up a Egyptian. Did I get the max skill on a. Uh... Yeah, I did. No, I just wanted to make sure. My uh, Earth Enchantment. I just wanted to make sure that that was um, up to par.
go. Darn it, another freaking Loki chest. Well, at least our electrum count is up. See baddies. Spoiler. No good loot. You guys realize you tried to kill me. When I'm so close with a rebirth fountain. And now it's going to be Revenge of the Twee. See, as I said, Revenge of the Twee. Finally, we got some membrane wings. About freaking time. Trying to hit my health there and before I do that. I do need to go get, I do want to stock up a little bit on health potions, so. Two guys there. Yeah, give me all your gold so I can use it at the transmuter. <laughs> Well, how about this? Give me all but several million of your gold. And, oh. And, uh, so I can spend it at the transmuter, and then you buy whatever loot I bring you.
I'm trying to get to this first tomb right over here. We're getting, finally getting some stuff now. Oh, some more stuff, that is. Come up through here just a smidge. That way, uh, I know where I need to go look-see later. Gosh darn, I'm now thinking of the final countdown by Europe. The irony. We'll wait to go back down that direction. Save ourselves some trouble. I always kind of love the floral designs that they've got. <clears throat> Excuse me, doing the uh, design for stuff here. Nice try, gentlemen. There we go. It's one of those things I'm definitely in a catch. 22 right now is that you know I'm in I've got with the build the way I've got this build The way I've got this build is that I'm in a catch-22 because I cannot get, um, ooh, Divine Talisman. Eh, that's not divine enough for me, but, um, eh, 
Um, <clears throat> excuse me. But, um... We can't... Um... Um... Uh, get better equipment without grinding. And it's hard to grind when you're dying a lot, you know? One of those moments of, um... I said it's a catch-22. The, the, the no-win situation. Because what I think I mostly got is, um, you know, um, I don't think I have any sets in storage that um, I have, uh, you know, that are similar to that in scope. At least not that I remember off the top of my head. Canopy, whatever you want to, however it is it's called. That's why I was having difficulty with that guy. That Yumi was stunning. That bow was stunning me. Excuse me. There we go. I'm glad they added in the re, uh, at least for here. It's first time in a. I don't. Th I think this is a, one of the re more recent updates where they've added the um, 
the uh, that thing you know we had would have had from um 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 the Gnosis Palace you know the ooh, 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 I just love it. Exquisite raw. Exquisite you. Yeah, raw. You feel hot flashes just looking at this thing. Um, I love that. I love that description. <laughs> Try there, dude. Oh, my God. All right, so we can finally pop into this guy. Get off the thing. There we go. That mage I want to get rid of. Not being mean to pick up that junk stuff. Is probably not worth much. Uh. 
I'm suddenly thinking back, and I haven't seen it in years. I'm thinking back to, you know, to the Unholy Beacon. Uh, you know, the Unholy Beacon there. I'm thinking back to Doctor Strange. I'm thinking about um, getting it, um, you know, a digital copy of the... Uh, of a MCU, at least through Infinity War. And, um, and, um, One of you has got a special ability. It's the mage. But, um... I'm thinking back to, um... God, uh, let's go ahead and do the Rebirth Fountain while I'm here. I'm thinking about it. But I forget the name of, um, what's-his-face. Oops. You guys realize <laughs> that you killed me right near my what's-it. Let's quickly go that. But, um, that'll help. But, um, I forget the, the, the rogue m m monks of the Masters of the Mystic Arts, they, uh, they, um, you know, servants of Dormammu, and, um, how they, uh, um, you know, want to turn a life and all that. Take that, you jerk. And, um, how, uh, of course, um, they, uh, um, you know, were deceived by Dormammu and all that, because, of course, he wants to take over the Earth. You know, it was one of those moments where, you know, at first, you know, it kind of seems that, you know, what's happening here, you know, um, with uh, some of these guys. But uh, anyway, back to what I was trying to say is that, you know, it's revealed that the Ancient One, she was um, actually tapping into the Dark Dimension to extend her own life. You know, how she would always say, you know, don't access the dark dimension. And, you know, he literally goes, uh, what's his face? The bad guy. Well, one of the, the minion of, uh, Dormammu goes, hypocrite. Yeah, he literally goes, hypocrite. Is that? But yeah, that that was one of those definitely one of those more interesting parts is when um 
um, when Strange was using the the Time Stone, the Eye of um, God, I don't remember how to say it off the top of my canopy. But uh, you know, it's the founder of the Masters of the Mystic Arts. Uh, what's his face? And, um, he says, you know, uh, Dormammu, I've come to bargain. You know, he's activated, you know, we, we keep seeing the same thing over and over. And, you know, at first, you know, it's like, you know, Dormammu thinks, you know, he's won. And, uh. And, uh, yeah, we don't have any more room. You guys wanted to make sure? Uh, you know, he, he, Dormammu keeps getting thrown off. It was like, we, I already done this. Why do I keep, why do we keep coming back to the part where Strange says, you know, Dormammu, I've come to bargain! It was one of those things, you know, where Strange said, I'm willing to do this forever. There we go. I knocked on wood. <laughs> I'm trying to remember my way here. I was like, uh. Membrane rings, huzzah. Oh, I forget those guys down there. I must have spawned in after uh, one of our deaths, so. Yeah, whatever. 22. Not bad.
Duh. You know, that's a that's an idea for a future base in Minecraft. Is um having, you know, maybe uh, um depending on where I want to go, but adopting the this floral design right here for a future Minecraft base. That would be kind of swell, I'm thinking. Or, or have something akin to it, you know? <clears throat> Need more go juice. Of Thanatos, there. Oh, it's slowly sliding over. There we go. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's try, dudes. I might have something, you know, go for a little bit more Greeks. Maybe do like a, maybe more, do more like a Greek style uh, base at some point and, and incorporate the, that uh, floral design there. Now, before we go off against uh, Argentanios, um, we're going to have to make a quick trip back to Helos to uh, de-what's-it uh, de ourselves. I'd rather not be done all the time saying hi to him, you know? Go, go ahead and clear out the sarcophagi. So that they're less of a distraction. Oh, 
I just love the uh, depiction here of him. Now he's got his left hand over his abdomen. So yeah, let's quickly head back to um, Helos. Get at least a little bit of that Electrum. And we'll go face King Morgenathonios, however you say his name. We'll, uh, and once we get him beat, we'll come back and re-enable our shrines. So as that, uh, I, um, and we can get more Electrum. All right. Didn't get that guy. Twiggy. There we go. There we go. Hello, boy. Go. Yep. Finally. I want to see what that hail cucklos is all about. Not bad. Not bad. At least we got a beat. All right. The portal first to Helos, and then we'll return to Gadir. Got to get our uh, what's its back and running. Our curses, so we get our electrum. And against my better judgment, we will uh, spend some electrum. We have eight. Let's do 
Well, since we're in Atlantis, let's do the Orb of Tiamat. And we got essentially nothing. Did get some stuff to sell, but nothing good. Nothing good. Back to Gadir proper. So what time is it? And yeah, we got some time. We can uh, get started going to Galos. Like I said, I, I just love it how doing a little song of. <laughs> All right, let's head on over here to uh, the merchants. They are, of course, in transit to Marinos. Only because I'm a mage, dude. If you want.
Gosh. God. I just realized that I was muted. Ah. Jerks. This is why I want to get leveled up. Because the uh, Rig of Fought, Rig of Flame, you know, next thing is going to, you know, further bump that up. You know, the meter radius, the radius, and then, uh, That might be something to do with uh, some of our levels there. Is of course I also want to do the, what's it? Yeah, it's like, I, oh gosh darn it! What was I talking about? I know that I had the thoughts of, uh, oh, oh yeah, it's, uh, Zeus Poseidon City Building Saturdays stuff, and, um, um, Enlightenment in the West, no, was it Enlightenment in the West? Whatever the, um, yeah, I think it was Enlightenment in the West, I think it was. The one where, uh, you know, you've, you've helped found OG Atlantis and, uh, um, and, um, you know, after the founding of Atlantis and, uh, And, um, you, uh, and, um, you have to found a new city to help facilitate, you know, the Western expeditions. I love how they did for Zeus Poseidon, how they did the, um, uh, for that particular, um, deal, um, how they, um, um, did the, uh, the explorer guy, they gave him, you know, they deliberately had him speak with an Aussie accent. That was one of those funny little bits, you know. Turret. Like I said, we're definitely in a catch-22 scenario where, you know, 
Darned if you do, darned if you don't. If we, if we can get a little more uh, gold, we might go, I think we'll go say hi to the transmuter. And, um, we'll see if we might be able to lay our, uh, hands on, um, come on, there we go, lay our hands on a, um, couple of, um, more what's-its there. What the frick? That's unfair! I hadn't even reclaimed my what's it yet! Just literally lost XP. You jerks! It's time we'll get the thing back. First, the grave. No, 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 no. Move out of my, out of my. Uh. Oh! It's like I can't get my stuff back if you jerks keep getting in my way. All you cockathrices ganging up on me when I'm trying to do my thing. There we go. We'll get it. There we go. One down. of absolute OP. Absolutely OP'd. You die, Mr. Turret. Got started. I'm now thinking back to um, the uh, what's it? Uh, one episode of Ruby Chibi where uh, it's, uh, I think it was the first season of Ruby Chibi, as I remember, Roman's Revenge, where um, Roman Torchwick says, "I will have my revenge." This time, things are gonna be different. And then Neo holds up a sign that says, and she, as she nods her head, that says, uh, no, they aren't. And as she nods her head, nods, you know, very squeaky, you know.
see here. So yeah, it's <laughs> that's one of the, my favorite bits is how Neo goes. <laughs> you know, she nods no, it's That's uh, Gray Haddock, who uh, voiced um, um, Roman Torchwick. He uh, eventually left the RT animation department, so that's why I, th I think that was part of the reason why they wrote Roman out of the series, was to uh, help let him, well, get him out of the way so that things could be done. He's obviously um, doing some sort of thing. Oh, that would be an idea. I just gave myself an idea, guys. What we can do. Well, uh... What we'll do is, um, probably had <laughs> better finish my statement here before, uh, finish getting distracted here is, um, ooh, Reaper's found. Yes. Um, we'll go visit our, our, uh, um, our supplies. Gosh darn it. I thought I disabled that. Well, at least I took... Oh my god, I took all of them with me! Let's go ahead here. As soon as we get to the Galos portal, she'll be up ahead. Oh my goodness, stretchy stretch. What, to buy more potions? You bet your britches, son. And we'll go say hi to our, uh, um, our magical stuff to, uh, To uh, see what we can get in terms of uh, loot. Your gold, son.
And I hate double Loki chess. I hate Loki chess. The double treats of um the um of um of the triple treat of A getting tracked B having whatever trap there is and C only a little if any gold well, at least I took several of them with me so Took several of them with me. Mud man. There you go. That little cavelet right here. So the portal there on the HUD. As soon as we get to the uh, portal there, we'll uh, we'll call it an episode because we'll be able to use it. Stupid jerk. A thrice idiot. Frigid Spear. There we go. I think I'm gonna kill them. There we go. I'll be lucky if I can even get. Uh...
if we could do any serious investing of time looking at stuff in a stuff, you know. Jeez, I don't need three caucus rices. No, 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 no. So that's finally done. <laughs> Distracted quickly taking a look see at my laptop's time display. starting to get close. That would be another thing to do was to be to, uh, well, first of all, not die. would be to um, get a better uh, artifact. That would be another thing. I mean, Shrouded Knight is good. It's very good. It's White Cat. Oh, 
the other day, he was being puke face. It's one of my many nicknames for him is, 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 is puke face. Time for Revenge of the Tree. Just a second. Let me go attend to White Cat. Just a second. Uh, yeah, the other day, White Cat was being puke face. He threw up here in Tree Broadcasting Central while I was asleep. It was like four times, five times. I, I had a hairball, of course. But then there was like a couple other spots where he literally, you know, threw up. And I was like, oh my god goodness why cat why do you have to throw up five four or five times in one little bit i need to have this week i haven't been too good about giving him his anti-hairball medicine so basically the thing i get from uh the cat doctor, the vet, is uh, basically, uh, you know, it helps him slide the hairball instead of having him go uh, throw it up. He'll, uh, he'll help him pass it through his digestive tract. It was always a little bit easier, of course, to not always have to worry about cleaning up a hairball. And um, easier just to go, you know, just go and uh, clean up, uh, clean up his litter box, you know. Well, I don't think we'll really be able to spend much time um, doing the uh, look seeing at the um, stuff in uh, the vault. But we can go to. Uh, oh, forgot to pick up that stuff. But we can go. Uh, Pick up uh, something from the uh, um, transmuter. And there is the portal. A little face tendrils there um, make me think of both the um, the harvesters, the aliens from the Independence Day series, and of uh, Doctor Zoidberg from um, uh, Futurama.
All right. Oops. Some too many. Some too many. Just gonna put that there. Let's see, is there anything I can use? Jade Idol, Earth and Talisman. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely have to go through at the start of next episode to go through and see what we might be able to uh, dig out of the uh, what's it. Hunter's arm guard. It's at least something. Even though I can't use it. Check these couple things right there. Even though they're not worth much. Thinking we'll be lucky if we make uh, several, uh, if we make two and a half mil. We'll do a, go ahead and do the. Uh, oh, I have heavens. Now we always get less money out of. Uh, then we spend in return. It's just like IRL, you know. Yeah. Don't sell it. That's that's it. <laughs> I was going to try to command those, and I just realized. Well, wait a sec. That's not going to work because those are normal difficulty. Uh, these guys over here are embodiments versus essence. You know. Yeah. Let's go ahead here. We'll call a few minutes early. So. I hope you guys will come join me on this raid. I do appreciate everybody who has come out. Let me see who is live. Who is live? Who is live? Who is live? So, uh, let's see. Raided them recently. Let's see several people I've raided recently. Uh, let's see who else. Who else? Who's somebody I rated that? I see several people I've rated recently. All right. I, th I may have found somebody, but if you're watching here on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Orange, please remember to hit that follow button if you're watching over on the YouTubes over at youtube.com slash Osage Orange Gaming remember to <clears throat> excuse me hit that subscribe button make sure you leave a like and hit that bell icon for notifications it really does help of course of course also make sure you follow on Twitter twitter.com slash Osage Orange 01 
So we're going to be rating uh, somebody I got pointed out to recently, um, Kendrasite. He's currently doing some building in Minecraft. So go and select our raid message, which is the tree grove has arrived to bring you shade and water. This is our standard raid call. Hope to catch you guys on Saturday with another episode of City Building Saturdays. Remember that uh, since we're busy doing TQ stuff, we are not going to have um, loot grind on Sunday. But of course, next Monday will, of course, be another episode of um, <clears throat> Let's Play Titan Quest Season 3. So let's go ahead and get this raid party started. Uh, I do appreciate everybody who has come out, and I hope to catch you all in the next episode. Ta-ta for now.